Hi guys, how are you going? Welcome back to the channel, or if you're new, welcome. Today I'm going to be covering off quite a few questions in relation to the solar panels I run. So I've got two in particular, but what I'm going to focus on today is the portable solar panel. I've got the King's 160 watt portable solar, solar panel, it's the folding one, so I'll pop it up on the screen now. Now, I've had this one for, I reckon, over 10 years, and it's still going strong. One of the key things with this panel, though, is that it has a built-in solar regulator. And if you want to plug this into one of your King's DC to DC chargers, it is not going to work unless you make a modification. Okay? So whether it's, it's the, the Mark, the 25 amp Mark II, whether it's the new 25 amp or the 40 amp, you need to basically bypass the regulator. Now, if you're running the new King's foldable 250 watt solar panel, what they've done is they've actually removed the regulator. So with that one, you can plug it directly straight into your DC to DC charger. Okay. Do not though, <laughs> plug it directly into a battery. Okay. If you plug this unregulated directly into a, a battery, um, you're probably going to cook it and permanently damage it. Okay. So what I'm going to do, so, and, and this will work for, for any solar panel that has a built-in regulator you need to simply bypass it. So what I'll do is I'll show you on my panel what I did to make it nice and simple. And then again, you can look at your own panel, see whether or not it's got a similar setup. I dare say they, most of them come out of the same factory. <laughs> and yeah, I'll take you through what I've done here. All right, let's have a look. All right guys, so with my setup here, before I show you the solar panel and what I've done here, so I've got the King's control box with the, the Mark II DC to DC charger, which has the solar priority input. And then what I'm doing is I'm feeding it with this King's 200 watt solar panel, which I've got permanently mounted on the roof, okay? And at the moment, until I finish it, it's just temporarily feeding into it. And then what I've done is I've created a splitter cable, okay? So I've got one solar panel coming in from here, and then I've got the portable one coming on in here. Now, if you want to know a bit more about this system, go to the channel, there's a whole heap of videos on the solar panel install, on the 12 volt system in total, how to make this splitter cable, the whole kit and caboodle. All right, so let's go and have a look at this portable panel. So like I said, this is the King's 160 watt, but again, 250 watt similar with one major variation. All right, so let's have a look at the back. All right. So the difference with this panel is compared to say the, the new 250 one, is this has the built-in um, solar controller, okay? And then, so when it comes from factory, it has these ones, which are temp sensor cables, which are just like that from factory, okay? But what happens is you have this here, which is the regulator input. Normally, this would run straight from this box here, and they would plug into each other, okay? And when I say plug into them, they're actually hardwired from there into here. So what I did was I chopped the cable in between and I popped an Anderson plug on here and I popped an Anderson plug here, right? And then at the moment, because I'm running it into my DC to DC charger, I've totally bypassed, I'm not using this at all or the cable that came with it and I'm simply running straight from there straight into my car okay now if you want to use the panel as it was designed okay you would simply just plug these two into each other right so this is then running through the regulator then this cable you would utilize to pump into a battery okay so if you had a little battery box or whatever, so this will give you a regulated charge, okay? But if you want unregulated, which all DC to DC chargers want an unregulated charge, you simply unplug, okay? Is that simple? Plug that in. And now that is sending an un unregulated charge to the DC to DC charger. I've put caps on these so you don't get any dust in them. And it's that simple. And like I said, with the 251, the 251 does not have a regulator. 
okay? So you would not plug the 251 directly into a battery on its own without a DC to DC charger or an MMPT controller or a solar, solar regulator controller, okay? All right, guys, I hope I explained everything well for you. If you've got any questions or queries, pop them in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Otherwise, again, go check out the channel. There's a whole heap of videos there on full driving, uh, the setup of my rig, all the 12 volt systems and so forth, and a whole heap of other, of other gear. I've got a 2009 Mitsubishi Pajero NT, but um, a lot of the stuff I do is, again, for any four wheel drive, anything, anything other than the stuff that's specific. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share around. And uh, yeah, I'm going to on the road one day. All right. Cheers, guys. Bye.